All right, we know somebody who cannot be replaced by AI because they wouldn't have your charming personality, Daniel. <laughs> oh, I owe you one then, Whitney. <laughs> we know that is not the truth. This is the truth, though. We're tracking Tropical Storm Harold. It's continuing to make its way towards the Gulf Coast or the Texas Gulf Coast there. Winds of 45 miles per hour does have some stronger gusts. It will kind of move in and then bring some heavy downpours, possible tornadic activities to that area. We're also watching Tropical Storm Franklin. It does have winds of 50 miles per hour with some stronger gusts moving generally towards the northwest and then it's going to turn more towards the northeast and then maybe back towards the northwest possibly as a hurricane. That would be our second hurricane of the 2023 season. So that'll be one we'll continue to monitor Tropical Storm Franklin. This is Tropical Storm Gert. It's going to dissipate at some point, probably today. It's getting torn apart pretty quickly. We're also watching this area. Hurricane Center gives it about a 60% chance or moderate chance of further development over the next seven days. And this was Tropical Storm Emily, it has a 20% chance to develop into something once again over the next seven days. So a lot going on in the tropics, five areas that we're currently tracking. Pretty quiet here at home, 75 in Columbia, 77 in Sumter, 80 degrees in Charleston, 79 in Myrtle Beach, still a touch cooler up in Rock Hill. We're there at 71 degrees. With high pressure firmly in control of our weather, pretty quiet, not really expecting much. Although as we get into tonight, this Backdoor cold front is going to swing through the area as it does. It's going to bring in some slightly cooler air. I mean, just slightly cooler, still above normal, but we're talking about temperatures probably in the lower 90s tomorrow. In contrast with the temperatures, what we're expecting today, upper 90s to near 100 degrees. So that's what we're looking for today. As we mentioned, not quite as hot tomorrow. We'll go for a high of about 92, mid 90s on Thursday, and then we jump right back up triple digits possible Friday, Saturday could have some new record high temperatures there. There'll be a small chance for some rain late in the day on Saturday, maybe a slightly better chance rain on Sunday. You'll notice those temperatures do drop down just a touch with some more rain possible on Monday. There's your seven day forecast.